Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's Stratomatic Baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zoll. Today, I'm here with a first look at the game, the Stratomatic Baseball 2022 with the 2021 teams and players. Just going to take a really quick look at it. Um, you know, the setup looks the same because whatever your setup looks like, it downloads the new game into that same setup. So you'll recognize that this uh, setup from my, um, you know, from my game uh, in previous, you know, when I've played games on my channel. So uh, we're just going to take a look at, at some of the players really quickly. Of course, the first player everybody wants to see is DeGrom, and his card was sick. I mean, it was crazy. That's what I mean by that. So let's take a look at DeGrom here. I mean, this is crazy. A 108 earned run average, 15 starts, 92 innings, 40 hits. And, uh, you know, against righties, forget it. If, I mean, if you have a righty in your lineup and he's facing DeGrom, he might as well not even go up there with a bat. And against lefties, you got, you know, you got these things tucked away in the corners. But, you know, this card is crazy good. I mean, I think, I think Strat maybe went a little too uh, uh, deep shit with this one. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, this card, at least in my, one of my leagues where he's on another team, he can't play the entire season. He can only pick 90. Points. Thank God. So, Let's look around some other guys. You know, you got my man, Tim Anderson. And let's lower him. Now, Tim Anderson, this is a good card. Um, he actually, uh, he's a shortstop two E14 and, <clears throat> which is good. And he can hit righties and lefties pretty equally. Um, you know, they're, they're saying he's even, and I think that's pretty much true. So that's cool to see. Um, you know, who? let's see, Liam Hendricks on the White Sox. Let's go through a few of the White Sox since that's my team. Uh, Hendricks, yeah, nice card. Nice relief card there. So um, a lot of strikeouts, very few hits. Where there are, there are home runs, unfortunately. But uh, let's go to, um, hmm, let's see. Who else? We had... Uh, Andrew Vaughn. Let's go take a look at Andrew Vaughn because he is a uh, he was a first year player this year basically, so he's in our draft. Uh, not too bad. I mean, he's not really much of a fielder like anywhere. But um, you know, if you want to draft him as a DH, hope he gets better over the years uh, playing in the field. Then have at it. Uh, Rodon. Rodon had a great year. And what happened here? Hmm. Let's go. Yeah, let's look at the card. I don't know why it was on the wrong page in the notebook. But anyway, yeah, you know, there's the good card. He's going to be in our draft because I foolishly let him go. I let him go. Um, I just, you know, I, I didn't think that based on his previous history, he was going <clears> to... <throat> That, and especially after arm surgery, that he was going to bounce back and be good. But apparently he is, and there it is. There's his card. Um, Sebi. Sebi Zavala. Look at that guy. He can, he can jack a homer against righties. And really even against lefties, although it's down here kind of buried. But anyway, yeah, nice card. So another guy you want to see probably is Harper. Of course, Harper was, again, he, he was his usual self. He gets on a lot, lots of walks, walk, 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 I'm walking, we're walking. And he's got the home runs, you know, right here against, particularly against uh, righties. Um, but, uh, yeah, they said he's a 6R, so his power isn't against lefties. But he still gets on base. Dude gets on base. So let's take a look at um, Tampa Bay. You got Cruz on Tampa Bay. Nelson Cruz. 
not a bad card. You got um, two home runs right here, and then there's a ballpark here. And then there's another, well, really is a ballpark home run. But um, yeah, the dude is, what do they classify him? 2L, yeah, I, I would say that that's correct. So let's take a look at my, uh, let's go to my other league, my um, the PBM league, my Elmwood league, and look at my Providence Grays. Uh, Alex Wood just missed being able to pitch all season long. Here's his card. He had 139 innings. If he'd gotten 140, he could have pitched right to the end of the season, like 240 innings. But no, um, under our rules, anybody from 100 to 139 innings can only pitch 171. So he can pitch 171 innings, and that'll be good. That'll help me out. We already looked at Tim Anderson. Uh, Tucker Barnhart, pretty uh, anxious to see what this guy looks like. Good catcher, catcher one with a negative one arm. Um, not the greatest hitting card, but then again, he's he's a catcher. So what are you gonna do? Gosman, I am I'm pretty impressed. What happened with Gosman's card? I'm pretty impressed with Gosman's card, um, and he's going to be my ace, obviously. Nice card here, double one to ten or a fly ball, triple one to four or a single, home run one to five or a fly ball. Double one to seven or a fly ball, triple one or a fly ball. So yeah, pretty nice card. Um, certainly, it's not on the uh, the same uh, stratosphere as like the Grobs, but you know nobody's going to be. Nobody in the history of baseball is going to be. Uh, Naquin, you got Tyler Naquin, pretty good card. Um, course 5R here probably just because of the power but really the on base looks roughly the same to me um, so I don't know I may play him against everybody it depends on if I can draft someone to play in the outfield um, opposite him but really I don't see a reason to do that um, Yasmero Petit he gives up some home runs that guy is going to give up some jacks you got a ballpark homer right here um, where else? Home run, one to two fly ball, automatic home run, ballpark homer right here. Um, he is a one R, so it's a little better. He's a little better against righties, but yeah, lefties could take him deep. Uh, Michael Taylor. Michael Taylor was a center field one with a negative four arm, so defensively he's going to be awesome for him. Uh, but at the plate, it's going to be something else. Um, he is a 3L. I guess he'll be pretty good against, he'll be okay against lefties. Although really his on base looks about the same, roughly. I mean, I don't think there's too much disparity there. But he's going to be a great center fielder, and I'm going to need that because I will have some pitching this year. Uh, Joey Wendell. Joey Wendell, third base one. He's going to be my third baseman versus righties. Uh, he is a 3R, but I also have Longoria. And Longoria can get on versus lefties. We'll look at him in a second. But third base one, E21. Uh, the air is a little high, but I love the range at third base for the Wendell man. And then, of course, we'll go look at Longoria, who's going to be my third baseman versus lefties. And as you can see, he can get on. The dude gets on base, as um, Billy Bean would say. Why do we like Longoria? Because he gets on base. So uh, let's see, what other uh, players, let's go back to the 2021 uh, major leagues. Um, let's take a look at Joe, at Aaron Judge, not Joe Judge, not the ex-coach uh, of the New York Giants, but Aaron Judge. And he does get on base. He's a 1L. Gets on base. He's got some power, obviously. Obviously, with 39 home runs. Let's look at Odor. I mean, I cut Odor, and maybe I will be regretting that. I don't know. He's a second base three, which is not too bad. Um, he can hit some home runs. He actually had a better year than he usually has. Like last year, I think he hit like 160. And this year he hit 202, so that's a little better than usual. Um, 
who else you want to look at um let's go who's that guy um uh, let's see well let's take a look at anthony rizzo take a look at the rizzo man uh one l gets hit by pitch a lot didn't realize that but anyway not a great card but you know gotta hope he does better in the in the future i suppose um let's go look at garrett cole of course garrett cole the the uh the diamond gem in the uh, new york yankees pitching staff that's a pretty good card you know you got a single one to six ground ball a here home run one to 15 double double one to six single and then a walk basically between four and 10, because that's what I look at mostly is between four and 10. The uh, readings that are up at two and three and 11 and 12, they're not going to come up as, as often. So yeah, not a too, not too bad a card for the Garrett Cole master. So that was just a quick look at the cards. I will do another uh, look at the cards when my cards actually come, which uh, at which time I will also look at whatever year it was that they i forget what it was 1948 or something that they put out this year and that i did order the cards for as well so that'll be a longer video and we'll go in depth looking at more of the cards then but just letting you know i got my download i'm ready to go and uh i we looked at some cards and so i gotta say that that is gonna be it for me sportsman z bob zolke signing off